Hello guys, from this video we are going to start the endocrinology video series. And this is the first video where we will be discussing about the endocrine system. We know this endocrine system is made up of glands that produce and secrete hormones. The hormones are signaling regulatory substances that act as chemical messengers and are secreted within the circulatory system. So all in all, we can say it is a system comprising of glands that secrete signaling molecules called hormones in the circulatory system. And it must be noted here that neural control center for endocrine system lies within the hypothalamus. Now first of all, let's get to the endocrine system functions. We see it aids in the regulation of extracellular fluid mostly by adrenal glands. Second is the metabolism regulation by hormones. Third is the regulation of biological clocks. Fourth is the glandular secretion. Fifth one is growth and development. Sixth one is reproductive function. And seventh one is some immune functions and much more. So in endocrine system, we have endocrine glands. These are the glands that secrete their product or we can say hormones directly into the blood circulation rather than through the duct. That's why these glands are also known as ductless glands. Here in this diagram, we can see the blood vessel. And on the upper side, we have the cell having hormones. And on the lower side, we have the receptor cell, which has receptors for hormones. Now we see the hormone secreting cell secretes the hormones directly into the blood circulation and these hormones are carried away in the circulation towards the target site where these hormone molecules are received by the cell in order to carry out the specific function as shown in the animation. So this is how hormones are secreted and received by the cell. Now let's get to the endocrine glands one by one. First of all we have the hypothalamus. It has got neuroendocrine functions in endocrine system. So directly we cannot say it's endocrine gland, but it's part of endocrine system, attributing its function towards endocrine system via nervous system. Now first gland is the pituitary gland, which has been shown in the diagram. This pituitary gland has various target organs and it controls and regulates them via hormones. Here in this diagram the target organs of pituitary gland have been shown. Second is the thyroid gland. Third is the parathyroid gland, fourth one is adrenal gland, fifth is pineal body, sixth is gonads, seventh is pancreas which acts as heterocrine gland also, which means it acts as exocrine as well as endocrine gland. Furthermore, we see these glands within the capacity of nervous system form other neuroendocrine systems that coordinates with each other, what we call as endocrine system axes. First axis or first system is the hypothalamic pituitary thyroid axis, HPT axis. Second is the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis, that's HPG axis. Third is the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, HPA axis. Fourth is renin angiotensin system, RAS. So this is the brief outlook of endocrine system and its glands. In the next video, the endocrine glands will be discussed in a detailed manner. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.